What is going on YouTube? It is Primitive here and today I'm going to be bringing you another Locals Finals between myself on the left playing Imperial and then on the right we are going to be having the Yellow Hybrid Rapid Mon deck. Deck that's been taking the metagame by storm looking to be a strong contender versus Imperial Dramon so it is making the rounds topping a bunch of lists but getting on into it they are just going to start off with Ikari that's going to give me the 4 memory to just play out my Mimi and keep turn. Unfortunately my hand is not super amazing so I have to Digivolve Lobomon in the back which is not a card that you really want to get rid of you want that hybrid for that last potential burst swing at the end of the game but I need to try to find a way to get up into something here I don't have stingmon or anything like that so I need to get some cycle going as well uh, so I can get up into this Pyildramon so going into Raidramon here is going to be what I want to go for so that way I can get a green Digimon on board they can go ahead and Rapidmon hit me here but looks like they may consider keeping in raising they are so they might not have the Rapidmon yet but we can go into the Zephyr and then potentially into Jet Selfie, but they also play the Yellow Rise Greymon, which we can see here. So that's going to go ahead and play out the Zoe. I just realized that that actually effect wasn't supposed to proc because you don't get the on play with the Yellow Rise, just the Red Rise Greymon. And we didn't figure this out until after the game. And so that was just a mistake on both of us here, but it shouldn't change too much here. So I'm just going to go ahead and promote my Lobomon. I did hit the Stingmon, so that means I can go up into Pyildramon, tap Mimi to hatch an egg. And Mimi is going to put in a lot of work here. Um, being able to essentially have a rookie and be able to promote every single turn is going to threaten a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and HPD here to go up into the fighter mode, which is going to bounce the yellow rise. And then I'm going to go ahead and just swing, unsuspend, swing. I don't really care if I hit removal or if my cards get hit off the board. I just need to get draw because my early hand was so gross. But since my opponent's going to go to three anyway, I'm just going to put Magnamon in the back, use up that full memory as well as just get the tamer out. This is one of the stronger cards in the uh, matchup, I feel like, just because of the 7k being able to block things like Rapidmon or being able to block the Jet Selfie while also being able to survive the initial minus 5k DP of the Rapidmon as well but they are going to decide to go ahead and trade up into my fighter mode by tapping the Cody putting us both at 8k and just get a little trade there and clear off what's on the board that is annoying but it's one of those things where now there's only suspended Patamon on the board so I could very easily just swing over that and my opponent's not going to be able to threaten to go to Rapidmon next turn very easily without hard playing another rookie which they did just get one but I'm not too worried about that because that's a lot of memory expenditure and they won't be able to keep their turn so my Magnamon's feeling fairly safe here so I'm just going to go up into Ragermon here once again it's something that is nice to have because if I swing into security and I don't hit DP reduction then I just armor purge and I'm going to be able to continue to have a Digimon on the board same thing with the Magnamon while also this is a green source so I can go up and DNA Digivolve next turn if they don't get rid of either of the Digimon on the board here so they're going to have to think about what they want to go for with just putting a rookie in raising this turn things are a little bit different when there's no rookie and raising the Imperial Jamon player can get a lot more damage off so now we're going to go with the Eden's Javelin's going to be able to take care of the Magnamon I armor purge but die anyway because of the DP reduction here so now I'm going to go ahead and build up into a Chimeramon here just because I don't actually have a rookie to put in raising at the moment so I need to Digivolve up I can go into Chimeramon for four which is going to allow me to put Magnamon underneath which I can then use to recycle again with another uh, dragon mode later so that does set me up I am at 12k now because I have a green, a yellow, and blue source, including the original white of the Chimeramon. So I'm going to go ahead and swing in at 12k. I do survive right there. I felt relatively safe of not dying right there. So I can get that extra check and then I can spark up to one to go up into the dragon mode here. Put my opponent to three memory. They will go to the four with the Cody. But now I get the Ragermon and the Magnamon out. Now I put my opponent in a really weird situation where they can go into Rapidmon here. They get to clear off my Ragermon and gain a memory here here and suspend my Magnamon, but it's sitting at 2k and my dragon mode is sitting at 7k meaning that they with only one cody they can actually only get rid of one thing on the board here so after a bit of thinking they do decide to just swing over the magnamon it is a kind of scary card unless you are worried about the fighter mode so they decide to go here and give another minus 2k to the dragon mode making it so that it's at 5k i believe um, they could have swung over my dragon mode or they could have swung security and tapped Cody and got the same thing, but I think they're just worried about hitting a security check here, so they just decided to get rid of the Magnamon. It is a annoying card. Then they're going to go to the Jet Selfie. They don't get the Recover because it's not a hybrid. I did ask them if they wanted to take it back if they had the Zephyrmon, but they said they didn't have a better play. They're just trying to build up into a Mega here, so I'm going to go ahead and promote. I'm going to be able to hatch once again. Um, I didn't have a Rookie, but I want to hatch first before I swing just in case my Dragon Mode does go down and I can't use Mimi anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and swing over 
over and then swing with the XV Mon into a Rise Greymon. And so I'm looking at a pretty good position right now because my opponent doesn't have anything in raising. So I can just go ahead and go into Chimera. Once again, put the Magna underneath. That's going to make it so if I go into another Dragon Mode, then I'll be able to play out the Magna once again and get that recycle going. But now with my opponent at just three memory and no rookie in raising, I don't think they can actually clear the board. They can go up to Jet Sylphie here and be able to recover, gain a memory off the Kari. And so they do get some recovery, but they are going to have to clear off something on the board or else I just have three swings on the board and they're going to have to hit some sort of removal in security. So instead of going with that, they just decided to go with the Eden's Javelin. Looking at how many they have, I do believe they had 11 cards in hand, meaning that they can't get rid of the Dragon Mode just yet. So they're going to go ahead and get rid of the Chimera, but I'm going to go and put Madoki into an XV and then I'm going to go ahead and swing jamming, get the draw. I do hit the Eden's Javelin, which puts them now at 12. So they can go ahead and get rid of my Dragon Mode, but I do have the Stingmon in hand. So I'm going to go ahead and play that out. DNA Digivolve up into the Pyildramon, um, be able to swing unsuspend. I hit the yellow memory boost and then I can swing in for game right there and be able to take game one. Uh, going into game two, my opponent is going to have me go first. That is very standard in pretty much most decks, but mostly in yellow decks, you do want to be going uh, second most of the time just because the cards do cost a little bit more. The deck is a little bit slower, so you want that extra memory, you want that extra draw. So I do give them the Davis, which gives them four, but I'm not too worried about it. They're likely just going to play a memory tamer regardless, so it didn't matter too much. Fortunately for me, they might have not had one and they get it off the Bokomon. So now they do have the Memory Tamer and that's something that I can't choke them anymore. But I'm going to swing in. I hit a Rapid Mon in security, which is fantastic. The less Rapid Mon, the better. And I'm going to play Vmon. I'm going to whiff and I put Mimi to the bottom, which is not good because we saw how much work Mimi did right there. And I actually end up just passing my turn to my opponent because I don't really want to play out any cards. With the Salamon coming out, they can go up into Rapid Mon and I don't really want things cleared. So I'd rather just go ahead and pass turn, put my opponent in three and then just waste a resource so now going into my turn i'm going to build up into the xv but my hand isn't looking incredibly hot so i decided to just go into the pyildramon right here so that way i can get a little draw going as well as be able to go up into the fighter or the dragon mode next turn and then potentially the fighter mode as well and be able to start to get some board presence here but my opponent's going to go ahead and play out the tk grabbing a zoe out of hand so that way you can get a little bit more search going later but taking tamers out of security is fine for me because I'd rather hit Digimon in there and there's not as many option removal cards So now we're gonna go ahead and Digivolve up on top of the TK that was just played You get to do it for free because of the Bokomon, but now I'm gonna go ahead I have the Mega Death, so I decide that I'm gonna go ahead and suspend and bounce the hybrid here So that way they can't get up into another rise or a Jet Selfie or anything like that And now my opponent is not really in that great of a position here because I feel like most of their play was gonna come off of Being able to Digivolve up into an ultimate here So they actually decide to Digivolve up into the Rapid Mon because no matter what, I'm going to be able to swing over it anyway with the Pyildramon. So um, this way I don't have to commit both swings because of the armor purge, but they do get to get the Cody out for free, um, which will be more important once they get a rookie in raising to be able to play out the Rapid Mon. But I'm going to go and Digivolve up here into Dragon Mode. I get to play out my XV Mon here. It is the only target, but that is fine because I just want to go ahead and get uh, stuff on the board to go wide and then go up into the fighter mode so that way I can bounce the Boko to clear the board and have the ability to swing two checks as long as they don't Wyvern's Breath me. I haven't seen a Wyvern's Breath yet, so I'm not sure if they are playing it. We are going to go ahead and get the Zoe out here. Going to grab the Jet Sylphie, so that's going to be one of the key cards there. Understandably, want to make that in hand because we did bounce the hybrid earlier with the mega death so they can get up into it but now they have zero memory this turn so they aren't going to actually be able to play it this turn they decide to just go and pass with the bokomon they just hit the jet sylphie right there so no tamers um, but they now have two jet sylphies in hand which does represent potentially two recovery so i'm gonna have to go a little bit faster here if i want to be able to go in so I'm just going to start to go on the offense, going to swing with the XV Mon first because I already know that they probably don't have Wyvern's Breath because I haven't seen one yet. And so I'm more worried about the XV Mon going down in security than I am the fighter mode. So now I'm going to go ahead and go into the Sting Mon, be able to DNA Digivolve up into the Pyildramon, swing, unsuspend, and swing. And once again, the Pyildramon, two swings right there, is going to be able to take it. But with that being said, this is going to be today's match. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe because I'll be bringing you even more Digimon BT eight content. And with that being said, I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll catch you next time. Peace out.